she's getting away! Oh, Chief, I almost had her. Send for backup. She's getting away! She... She got away. Now let's see. What was the name of that manuscript she stole? Something about Marco Polo's travels. What would she want with a book? Not just any book, Agent. Legend has it that that book contains secrets to great power. Aha! Uh -huh. She's after power. I knew it! Hmm. If I know Carmen, there's more to it than that. Hey, what's that? Looks like she left a clue. Rio de Janeiro. What do you think? Big place. It's not much of a lead, but it's all we have. Book your flights, detective. The world is counting on you. You've got to get that book back. There's no time to lose. We must stop Carmen San Diego. All right, let's do it. I always carry the latest technology in my Acme Field Op Tech Vest. It has all the tools we need to get around the world in high-tech style. I'll keep track of the missions we're on in the journal here in my bag. I like to travel light. But I will carry the Chief Com here on my shoulder. We can use it to get help from the Chief whenever we're stuck. Check. Okay, let's go. Ah, oh, Rio de Janeiro. It's been so long since I was last here. So this is Brazil. You know, I aced the final test on Brazil in the academy. Did you know most Brazilians speak Portuguese? Actually, more people speak Portuguese here than in the country of Portugal itself. No kidding. Well, okay, let's get started. Initiating Mission Procedure Delta IV. Step 1. Commence investigation by finding clues. Just a minute. I know the owner of that bookstore over there. Carmen stole a book on the travels of Marco Polo, so maybe we should talk to him. All right! Now we're on to something. We've definitely intercepted one of Carmen San Diego's messages. Shinto Shrine. Hmm. Your database should point us in the right direction. Yes, this is the bookstore. Let's check out these books, too. We may learn something interesting. Brazil's history is fascinating. There are some pretty cool historic places to visit, don't you think, Jules? There are a variety of landscapes in Brazil. I've always been fascinated by the Amazon rainforest. Maybe someday I'll get to see it. Brazil sure has some pretty spectacular wildlife. That's right. Carmen's a pretty infamous character all over the world. No kidding. But I like her hat better than that other guy's. Good day. It's been a long time since I last saw you. The lady in red is not with you? We, uh, don't work together anymore. Long story. Not to change the subject, but we're looking for a rare book. The Travels of Marco Polo, Franco-Italian edition. Ah, Marco Polo, the famous Venetian traveler. The tales of his travels to the Orient had a great influence on European thought. Early editions are quite rare. I have never seen one myself. Well, have you seen anyone out of the ordinary lately? Come to think of it, a suspicious character was here. He spoke Portuguese fluently, but I could tell he wasn't from Brazil. He exchanged a book on Portuguese forts for one on Shinto shrines. I knew it! Portuguese forts, huh? We've got to scan that book he left with you. Give me the clue analyzer, Jules. Clue analyzer? You mean one of those electronic toys you're so fond of, Hawkins? Why would I have it? Oh, that's right. They were fixing it for me. The chief told me Henderson would be testing it. I think he's somewhere outside Havana in a sugarcane field. My database can help us figure out how to get there. Havana? Okay, I'll note that in the journal here in my bag. Good idea. We can just type in what we need to find in the search area of the database. Cute. I may need to brush up on my Spanish. Sounds like a good idea. Maybe I can help. Or you could use that handy-dandy translator you carry. Are you sure you know where we are? All I can see are acres of sugarcane. 
According to the database, sugar is Cuba's chief export. Sergeant Hawkins, I got the call from headquarters. Here's the device. Now grab it and go. We may be being watched. Me? I'm headed for the ocean. Cuban seashores are incredible. Okay, hasta luego. See you later. And watch out for Carmen San Diego. Thanks. Ah, there it is. The Watson 221B Clue Analyzer. It's the best analyzer Acme ever produced. Okay, Sherlock. Now you've got your Watson. Can we continue with this mission? We've got to find Carmen and get that valuable book back. Brazil. Wow! I had no idea Brazil was so big. Fifth biggest country in area in the world, with 175 million people. Rio de Janeiro. I think you need to work a little on your rhythm, Hawkins. But how about later? Much later. Let's focus on finding clues right now. Psst! Quick! I've got the book the guy gave me. Go ahead, take it. Me? I'm closing up. He seems scared. I wonder why. Anyway, I'm all set to scan it. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Look, a bookmark with some sort of strange design. And the fingerprints on it belong to a vile agent. That device actually found something amazing. Of course! That scrap of paper must be a clue. I'll just enter it in my state-of-the-art Acme Digital Clue Storage Device. That's my DCSD for short. Hmm. Maybe Carmen gave the Marco Polo book to one of her vile agents to hide. We've got to check everywhere for clues. If we get really stuck, we can always call the chief for help. Iguazu Falls. How would you like to swan dive off of that? She's here, watching us. Carmen San Diego? Well, if she's around, she better watch out. Attention, Acme agents. One of our informants in Rio thinks she spotted Carmen San Diego at that balcony earlier today. You need to check it out. That edition of Marco Polo's travels is very valuable. We must get it back. Look at all those travel brochures. Could this be a clue as to where Carmen San Diego may have stashed that Marco Polo book? Japan? The United Kingdom? Who knows? She's tricky. We've got to figure out what she's up to and where she's headed next. Japan. Did you know that Japan has 126 million people in a space roughly the size of California? Did you know that 99% of people surveyed already knew that interesting fact? Why would Carmen steal a rare Marco Polo book? Travel? Orient? Danger? What is she trying to tell us? What do you mean? It's rare, probably worth a lot. She's a thief, so she stole it. Plain and simple. Look, Hawkins, Carmen San Diego is no common thief. She's got to have a reason for stealing that book, and it's up to us to figure it out. We need to search everywhere for clues. Oh, but I don't have my HX3 Pocket Japanese Translator with me. I thought that you were always prepared, Hawkins. Hopefully we won't need it, since English is taught in many Japanese schools. This is a Shinto shrine. Many Japanese participate in Shinto rituals like festivals or leaving prayers at a shrine. Buddhism and Confucianism are among the other religions practiced in Japan. Fujiyama, Mount Fuji. This volcano is a symbol of Japan. Carmen and I actually hiked to its summit one year, back when we were partners at Acme, over 12,380 feet. Excuse me, we're looking for someone who we think may be waiting around here. Have you seen anyone that seems out of place? Ah, yes. A lady. She had something for two people who match your description. I was to give it to you after you sit and play a game.
Okay. Why not? My Hanafuda flower cards, do you like them? They have a long history. In Japan, we value nature and its beauty is portrayed in our games. Go on, try and match all the pairs. Subarashi! Wonderful! Thank you for playing! And now, here is what that mysterious lady left for you. Well, hello again, Jules. So I understand you and your new rookie agent have been assigned to the case. This should be fun. I love a challenge. So I was a little disappointed at how easy it was to distract you. I was watching you play your little game, but you were too busy to notice. Maybe you've lost your edge, Jules. Bye for now, agents. Catch me if you can. I don't believe it! Do you think she's really watching us, Jules? You know, I thought I saw someone by that origami display on that tree over there. We should check it out. You were right, Jules. Carmen San Diego was here. It looks like she left this for a vile agent. Katanas, huh? I wonder if the database has any info on these. I'll keep the note in my digital clue storage device. We need to search this area. Can you help, Chief? An RX-23 is the vile code name for a message playback device. Vile agents use them for leaving audio messages for each other. They look like a small, round speaker, and they're sometimes hard to spot. Look around carefully. This is important. We must keep on Carmen San Diego's trail. Chief out. Sumo wrestling is a very popular sport in Japan. The object is for wrestlers to force their opponent to the ground, or outside of a 15-foot circle. You really have to be strong. Yeah, my kind of sport. Perhaps we should catch a baseball game while we're here in Japan, Hawkins. I'm a huge fan, and it's one of the country's most popular sports. Samurai were brave and disciplined warriors, very skillful with these long curved swords. That sign says the swords are called katanas. Didn't that note we found on the origami tree mention them? Attention, Vile Agent X86. The second half of the solution is near the fort in Mombasa. Look for a way to travel to the capital. Remain in contact. Vile Security Code 225. Red Lady 1, out. Mombasa. I'll make a note of that in my journal, Hawkins. Your database can help us figure out which country to travel to. Right. I'll keep this audio device in my digital clue storage device. No sense letting that vile agent get a hold of it. No luck. Maybe we should check the spelling. Didn't I see that word written down somewhere? Check this out. It says here that Kenya has a population of 27 million people, 2 million of which reside in the capital, Nairobi. What are you reading? Isak Denison's Out of Africa. A great adventure, and no long list of facts. Mombasa. Palm trees, ocean breezes, and excellent Kenyan coffee. But we can't get too relaxed. Carmen might be... Anywhere. You're right. Let's get going. The database says that most Kenyans speak both Swahili and English. Well, that'll be helpful. 
Let's check around the town, and I'd also like to figure out what that castle place is, over there behind the town. Look! Look over there! That helicopter! Carmen owns a helicopter like that one, I'm sure of it! Agents Jules Argent and Shadow Hawkins, come in, Chief. We think we spotted Carmen San Diego's helicopter over Mombasa. She may have been here. Any chance of getting some backup to trace that helicopter? There are no available ACME agents in the area. It's up to you and Jules. This is exactly the kind of situation I had in mind when I put the two of you together. Carmen San Diego is no easy catch, Hawkins. Be careful. We'll be careful, Chief. But we need to find out more about that Ford over there. The helicopter lifted off from right behind it. Hmm. That book we scanned in Rio. It was all about Portuguese forts. Maybe that vile agent was researching this one. You can take the train from here in Mombasa to Nairobi, the capital of Kenya. Carmen and I took the trip once on a trail of a mysterious man who was poaching endangered species. I'll tell you about it sometime, Hawkins. This must be the clue intended for that vile agent. Too bad, Carmen San Diego. We got here first. But what does she mean by the three rings? This case is getting complicated. We should remember to check my journal often so we can keep track of things. It doesn't matter how hot it is in the lowlands, there's always snow on Mount Kenya, second tallest mountain in Africa. If we had the time, I'd vote for a camel tour of Samburu Game Reserve. Watch out for crocodiles on Lake Turkana. It has a very large colony of Nile crocodiles. We have a special today. Tours of the wonderful Portuguese Fort Jesus. But I must eat fast and cannot leave my store unattended. Would you be so kind as to get me some ugali? Oh, by the way, someone left this on the bus. I have no use for it. Do you want it? Well, there's some interesting stuff here. I wonder why the page was ripped out. Well, I don't think we need it. But I'll go ahead and make a note of it in my journal. Why bother? We're chasing Carmen San Diego, not some legend of a lost treasure. Let's go find some Ugali. Maybe the database can help us figure out what Ugali is. Look, they have Ugali here. What is it anyway? It's a thick porridge made from corn flour. Lots of Kenyans eat it. Let's get some for the tour guide. Okay, many thanks for the food. Now off we go to Fort Jesus. This design on the door is known as the puzzle of the three rings. The three rings! Carmen mentioned that on the clue we found at the station. We could be getting really close to finding out what she did with that Marco Polo book. Looks like we need to move the tiles around to complete the picture. The clues we found can help us figure out which tile goes where. Carmen San Diego's master plan has been thwarted. Are we good or what? Good enough to find a rare book, maybe. But we didn't get Carmen, yet. If I know her, she's watching our every move. Let's call the chief. Congratulations, agents, on recovering the book. Excellent work, and... So sorry to interrupt your congratulations, chief, but I couldn't resist. Well, Jules, as a matter of fact, I am watching your every move. Not that there's that much to see, really. Enjoy patting yourself on the back for now. You may have got the book, but you haven't got me. And, uh, Hawkins, is it? You don't know the first thing about my master plan. See ya around. 
Carmen San Diego. That woman has given me more headaches than... Now, where was I? Oh, yes. You did a great job. But we've just received word of another theft. And it's got that Carmen San Diego written all over it. Wellington, New Zealand. A rare wood carving has been stolen from a museum. A ticket to the Bolshoi Ballet was found at the scene of the crime. So pack your bags. You're off to Russia to follow that lead. I'll get that book back to its rightful owner. Roger that, Chief. I just finished sketching it in my journal. There's quite an interesting design on the cover. No time for art lessons, Jules. We've got work to do.